my loneliness is killing me and I, I must confess, I still believe, still believe. <laughs>Hi, it's so lovely to meet you. So my name is Olivia and I'm with Cineworld and we are going to be bringing Kung Fu Panda 4 to the big screen. Yeah. You will advance to spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. Inner peace. Once I possess the Kung Fu of every master villain, no one will dare question my power. Not even the great dragon warrior. The first Kung Fu Panda came out 16 years ago. And so many of us have grown up with Poe's iconic character. I certainly did. What's been your favourite part about voicing Poe and bringing this character to life? I just love playing Poe. He's a real fun character because he's a ball of uh, energy and 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 humour and action adventure. And his passion for Kung Fu is infectious. And, uh, you know, I feel the same way about telling stories and making movies and and so i can relate to him on that level and whenever i get a chance to party with poe it's kind of like uh, getting in touch with my my inner child in a way because that that kind of like sense of play and joy is what uh i i love about him absolutely love that the phrase party with poe i think is the best thing i've ever heard <laughs> yeah well it's well known that poe loves dumplings i'm sure at a party with poe there would be a lot of dumplings <laughs> um, yeah but what food would spur you on to train to become the Dragon Warrior? I just love a good cheeseburger. It is the greatest sandwich on the planet. It's so good, I almost don't even want to call it a sandwich. Uh, it's a taste sensation. I also love a good breakfast burrito. Oh my gosh. Ooh, but those can be heavy. And if I party with a breakfast burrito, I might skip lunch because it's so powerful. It's almost like a brunch. I think breakfast burritos are quite underrated when people think of the burrito, like, context, you know? <laughs> well, you know, burritos are kind of like the Mexican dumplings because mm. they're, they're a mystery. You know, you can't see what's inside of it until you take a bite. You're like, oh. I love this. Now I want a burrito. <laughs> yeah. On the topic of food, snacks are obviously a big part of the cinema experience. So if Poe were to go to the cinema, what do you think would be his kind of go-to cinema snack? Like popcorn, nachos, hot dog? I'll tell you what Poe would do. Uh, and I highly recommend it to anyone who hasn't tried it. You get that tub of popcorn and then you get the chocolate covered raisins. Pour the raisins into the popped corn and then get a bite of popcorn and chocolate covered raisin in the same bite. That combination of salty and sweet it's a taste explosion and it enhances the movie going experience. Highly recommend. That sounds incredible. And I really do want to try that now. We have like, um, you can put like M&Ms on top of the popcorn as well, which I feel like is quite a popular. Oh, similar. I mean, it's the same sensation. Yeah. You ever great. see Ratatouille where, yeah. Uh, yeah, the rat eats the strawberry and the cheese at the same time. And you can see fireworks going off in his, in his brain. Yeah. Is like that what that. happens when you have the chocolate popcorn? Definite fireworks for the brain. I love that. Um, in this movie, there are so many incredible, iconic kind of quotes. What do you think is the best way to quote unquote kick butt in life? Well, hopefully you can find something that you love and do what you love. That's, that's the best kick butt recipe. That's the remedy. Love what you do. And then you never work a day in your life. Right? I fully believe in that as well. Like... Mm. You've got to love what you do. It gets you up bed in the morning. It just brings joy. Yeah. So joy. <laughs> and also another way to kick butt in life, get a good night's sleep. Figure out how. Get that good pillow, like maybe a pillow under the pit and under mm -hmm. the head. Oh, my gosh. That is the key to a good night's sleep. That is oh, my God. Perfect. Getting that, yes, the pillow placement. Take the extra minute and a half to get that perfect placement. Oh, uh, I'm going to do that tonight. So I've got my burrito, yeah. I've got my perfect night's sleep, I've got my chocolate. Yeah. This is iconic. Um, I think we have to wrap up soon, but one quick last question. Yeah. Why should people get out their house and come and see Kung Fu Panda on the big screen at the cinema? Okay, I'm not even joking. This is probably the best movie of the year. It's so dang good. 
And if you want to have a good time, you go see Kung Fu Panda 4. No joke. Yeah, I agree. I had the best time. I was literally like sitting there and I was like, having seen the first film in 2008, having watched every film since and like waiting for this one to come out, it was incredible in the cinema. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, I know that there's another movie out there right now called Dune. Uh, but this could be the Barbenheimer of, this, of the year. You go Dune and Kung Fu Panda 2 in the same night. It's the Dunenheimer. It's a bot. No, it's the Kung Fu. Wait, what is it? The, the Dune the... Fu Panda? Pandune. It's the Pandune. That's it. That is incredible. Pandune 4. It might be six between the two of them. Oh, true. It just keeps coming. There'll be, there'll be Pandune 8. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. This movie features your stunning rendition of Baby One More Time. I was just wondering, can we get an impression of how Poe would sound singing your rendition of Baby One More Time? I mean, that's the one I was thinking while I was doing it. I was like, are people going to feel like this is Poe singing? Because we just saw a whole movie of Poe, and my voice is Poe's voice. I don't think it would sound any different, to be honest with you. Because when I do Poe, I'm really doing my own voice. My loneliness is killing me, and I, I must confess, I still believe, still believe. That's all you got. That was iconic. I mean, that was- Oh, you want the rest? You're going to have to go see the movie. Check out the end credits. There we go. That was a- that was a And I'm not with you, I lose my mind. Give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, you want the rest? You're going to have to go see the movie. Check out the end credits. Britney Spears must be so proud that you guys have done a rendition of her song because... I hope so. I don't know. <laughs> I'll check I it. I love it. <laughs> well, thank never you say so never. much. This has been thank, you. thank you. And we cannot wait to bring Kung Fu Panda 4 to the big screen. Yeah! Let's do this. How should we do this? Quick and painless? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or... Slow and painful. Slow and painful. You finally met your match, Chameleon. We're not so different, you and I. Good dude.